Welcome to Recharge with Richardson. Five minutes of hope and inspiration from God's Word every day of your work week. Hello there and happy Friday. This is Recharge with Richardson and I am Pastor Sven. It was a foggy evening out at sea. Then, through the fog, the captain sees the light of another vessel heading towards him on a collision course. He got on his radio and made contact. To the unknown vessel with the red light, please divert your course five degrees to the south to avoid a collision. The vessel's reply was, I recommend that you divert your course 15 degrees to the south to avoid a collision. The captain of the ship replied sternly, This is the captain of a naval ship. I say again, divert your course. Again, the reply came back, no, I say again, you divert your course. Holding nothing back, the captain yelled, this is the aircraft carrier USS Corral C. We are a large warship of the Navy. Divor divert your course immediately. After a short pause, a calm voice replied, this is the lighthouse on the North Shore. Your call. Sometime your authority is not enough. You may think you're the boss or you have control, but everybody has someone higher than oneself. So when you meet a problem, you can take it up with someone higher. And the harder the problem, the higher up the ladder you have to go to get the problem resolved. We are all going through some kind of crisis today. The corona crisis is just the tip of the iceberg. Then there are financial problems. Family issues such as abuse, divorce, neglect. Then we have employment issues. Almost 30% of our workforce is unemployed. That's huge. Others have other health problems, and not at least mental health problems such as depression, angst, neuroses, and so on. We would love to divert these problems, but who can we contact? Well, we can contact our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. See what God shared with John as he started the book of Revelation. Revelation 1 verse 4 through 8 says this, Grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth. To him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and has made us kings and priests to his God and Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming with clouds, and every eye will see him, even they who pierced him. And all the tribes of the earth will mourn because of him. Even so, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty you know, I count at least 15 titles of Jesus in that paragraph. Whatever your problem is, Jesus has a title that gave him the power to solve your problem. Trouble with your boss? Well, Jesus is the ruler of the kings of the earth. Trouble with your spouse? He is the one who loved us even more than he loved his own life. Trouble with money? He has made us kings and priests. Feeling guilty or not good enough? Well, Jesus washed us from our sins with his own blood. Are you worried about the future? He is the one who was, is, and is to come. The Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. Have you got trouble with people trying to overpower you? Jesus is the Almighty. As we look at this world, we may feel insecure and scared. But I want you to have hope. Hope in the words of the beginning of the revelation of Jesus Christ. Let there be no doubt. Jesus is in charge. Everything else has to divert its course because his word, even the mountains, will have to disperse. Put your trust and hope in Jesus. He is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. He will see you safe even until the day that he comes again in the clouds of glory. Amen. May God bless you and keep you safe and healthy. Happy weekend. Thank you for joining us for Recharge with Richardson. 
Join us tomorrow for the next episode. And until then, may God fill you with joy and peace and hope.